Hey, this is Rich over at TVP Live with another Quick Tips Tutorials brought to you by Adobe Photoshop Elements Custom Tutorials Group. And let's jump right in with today's poster. I want us to know how to get rid of this dark shadow. It apparently looks like the light was behind the cameraman. So you see the shadow of the person's head or something covering up the light. So there's a whole shadow on the bottom half and the top half is fine. How can we fix that? There's one way we can try to do that by making a copy and then lightening up the bottom half. So let's go ahead and try that. First, let's get rid of the background, which is the white background using the magic tool. So I'll come up here and click on the magic tool down here in tolerance. Before I decide what tolerance to set it, you want to zoom in and look closely at the edges of this photo. It looks like it's kind of fuzzy a little bit, so you don't want to use too high of a tolerance. Right now it's set to 50. I'd bring that down to about 25 percent and then go ahead and take that tool and then click in here that looks pretty good when i hit delete boom it's all gone i can hit Control d to deselect and now we've got just the foreground subject so now how do we get rid of the dark shadow underneath let's do that by making a copy of the original layer i'm going to right click here and hit duplicate and now we got a duplicate layer let's go ahead and turn off the bottom layer for now, but stay on the top layer. That's the one we have chosen. And we're gonna erase everything down here up to the point where it meets the lighter portion. Now you gotta be really careful not to get into that lighter portion. Now I'm gonna grab an eraser and right now it's, you can see how small it is. You don't want it to be that small. You want the eraser to be from the point that the light starts turning dark to the point that it is dark. So that's almost from here to here. So let's go ahead and make that brush bigger. It's at 50. Let's try that at like 300 and look at that. See, that's looking better. So if I click here like that with the eraser, that helps get rid of the portions that we want. Nice and thick. And there's a gradation that takes a while to get from the beginning to the end. And that's what we want so that our edits later when we re color it don't look like they're all of a sudden from one color to the next it'll be gradated just as much as this big circle is so now that we got all that taken out I'm going to get rid of the whole bottom half using the polygon tool so I'll hit the polygon tool come down here we don't want the lasso we want the polygon and we just draw a polygon around using the left mouse button by clicking click 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 I can double click and it'll close the marching ants and as soon as I hit delete Boom, that bottom half is gone. I'll hit Control D to deselect. And there we go. We got rid of most of the dark part. It's okay to leave a little bit now because we're going to fix that later. Now let's go ahead and turn on that bottom piece and it'll appear to be exactly the same as how the picture started, right? I'm toggling that bottom part on and off. This is where the magic happens. Now I'm going to choose that bottom. We go over to Enhance, Lighting, brightness and contrast and this is where the magic happens now we want to adjust the brightness and contrast so that the bottom half matches the top half so let's take the contrast a little bit up and see what happens to the picture we can change the contrast so i'm going to bring it down just a tad and then take the brightness and we can make the brightness lower or higher and look at that somewhere in between it'll actually match the top half of the picture now because it was darker the color amount may not be proper and we'll take care of that after we do this the lightness so the brightness we're going to come up to about here that looks pretty good right around there and then we can hit OK. And now we still have that little area that's a little dark. Now we can go back to that top layer and choose that. And with the eraser, carefully erase those edges. I'm going to make the brush a little bit smaller from 300 to 200. Remember, it's a soft brush eraser, not a hard eraser. So now with a soft brush, I'll just tap, 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 tap in here to get rid of that dark. If we go too far up, watch what's going to happen. We get into what's underneath which is the portion that's too bright so i'm going to undo that we don't want that so maybe i'll make this 250 so we have to be careful not to go too high because it's going to get brighter and we just tap tap until we're satisfied with what we got it's not going to be perfect perfect but it's a good sure bet better than what we started with and that's pretty much it now we can just add a little more color to the bottom because it was muted before the color was also changed so we'll go to enhance 
color, adjust hue and saturation, and watch what happens with the saturation. We can take the color out completely or make it really hot or somewhere in between, which is what we want. We just go back and forth until we find it match the bottom with the top, and you can see right there, that's at plus 15. And then with the lightness, I can just play with that a little bit until they both match as close as possible at a plus three. And lastly, if we want to reintroduce that white background, let's go ahead and create a blank layer, pull that layer to the bottom, go over to the color palette, and with the left mouse button, choose white. Hit OK, grab the paint bucket, and just click anywhere in the picture, and it'll refill in the background. And that's all there is to it. This is Rich calling it quits for this tutorial, saying over and out.